As President and CEO at Spring Hills, I want to assure you that my number one priority is the health, safety, and well-being of everyone we care for, from our associates to our residents and all of our family members. Our established multidisciplinary team has developed and implemented action plans to assure our preparedness to protect our residents, family, and associates. We know that any virus can spread quickly, but with COVID-19, it's spreading fast, it's going undetected, and it's spreading fear and anxiety. Please be assured, we are always on top of reports from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and we are adhering to the guidelines. We are prohibiting all visitors from entering our communities, except under extreme circumstances. All associates and essential visitors are entering through a specific entrance and are required to be screened upon arrival, which includes temperature being recorded. All associates and essential visitors entering the community must wash their hands upon entry. Associates will follow our HR policies that allow associates to stay home if they have symptoms of respiratory infection. Our teams are assessing resident symptoms upon admission and are prepared to implement appropriate infection prevention practices. The team is supplying additional hand sanitizers throughout the entire communities. We are constantly providing continuous training sessions on infection control. Resident outings and group activities have been canceled. Communal dining has been adjusted to meet the recommendations of the Center for Disease Control. Residents are not to leave the community for any, and I say any, non-medical event. Residents who leave for a medical event will then be required to be screened upon arrival. Our teams have multiple daily calls to be updated on the changing environment and to ensure we have the necessary supplies to keep everyone safe. Our communities are having daily family calls to keep everyone up to date. Our associates are helping residents and patients connect with their families virtually because we know how important maintaining that connection is for the emotional and social well-being of our residents and their families. The teams are working together to accommodate work and family schedules. The best way to prevent this virus is to actively support the guidelines, stay informed from the Centers for Disease Control and from our community. Follow proper hand and respiratory hygiene always. Limit visits in public places. If you don't have to be out, be home. Use proper coughing etiquette. Avoid close contact with people who are sick and stay home when you are sick. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth, also known as a T-zone. Clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and household surfaces. Your car, your car doors, your door handles, anything you can touch, disinfect it. We are truly dedicated to caring with a commitment to quality at all times. Our team members are proactively monitoring all communications about the virus and best practices for social distancing. Please be assured that we are actively monitoring local, state, and national updates on COVID-19 and will adjust our procedures as needed to prevent and contain this horrible virus. I know the fear and anxiety is really high. We all pray that everybody is safe, that we beat this virus, this horrible virus, really fast. I want to say thank you to all of our associates, to their extended families for being away from their family in those trying times. It is tough. It is very tough. Uh, but we all will come out a lot stronger after all this. May God bless you all. Thank you.